सो हेलो एवरी वन आई एम श्रेष्ठ आई एम ए सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलपमेंट इंजीनियर सो वी आर स्टार्टिंग विद दिस लीड कोड प्रीमियम टॉप इंटरव्यू प्रॉब्लम सीरीज वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग ईच एंड एवरी प्रॉब्लम विच आर मैंशन ऑन द लीड कोड टॉप इंटरव्यूज एंड ऑल्सो दिस विल हेल्प यू टू क्रैक योर नेक्स्ट कोडिंग इंटरव्यू इन द टॉप नॉच प्रोडक्ट बेस कंपनी सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द प्रॉब्लम today we we'll look at this problem problem merge sorted array it's a easy problem, but it is being asked in lots of interview so let's look at this problem so we have been given two arrays that are present in sorted manner and n m n are respective their sizes and we need to return the final sorted array okay so let's say so let's say we have been given वन टू एन थ्री एंड टू फाइव सिक्स दीज आर टू एरेज first is nums 1 and second is nums 2 okay and so we need to return 1 2 2 3 5 and 6 this array okay uh, so what we can do is we can place our two pointers here and then we can compare and return a final array likewise we'll just compare both those elements let's say for the first case one will be there Pushed into the final vector for the second case two, and we check that it is an equality, so we'll again push two here. Likewise, three, five, and six. So we'll just compare elements of both the arrays, and we'll be good to go. So let's try to code this one. Okay. So we'll first declare an uh, integer. R that is m plus n minus one. We'll declare an integer r one that is m minus one. We'll declare an integer r two that is n minus one. Okay, and we'll traverse through the while loop zero and then r two greater than zero. and what we'll do we'll just copy r minus minus is equal to nums1 r1 greater than nums r2 okay uh, and we'll use a ternary operator so that the length will be a lot nums2 uh, so this will be uh yeah r 1 minus minus okay and this will be nums of i'll just copy this this will be nums 2 and r 2 okay And semicolon, and finally we'll just uh, for r two less than equal to zero, and nums one of r minus minus is equal to nums two of r two minus minus. So we just uh, wrote all the values so that will be left in the second array if the lengths are not equal. Okay. so it got accepted the time complexity will be simply o of m plus n uh, and the space will be uh, it will be constant as we don't have used uh, any other spaces other than the variables that we declared so that was it about this lecture do like comment and share if you have any concerns uh, thank you we'll meet you in the next one